looks like January is going to be a uh, busy month for caravan travel. I'm heading out to uh, Broken Hill in a week's time, out to uh, Ivanhoe, Menindee Lakes, Canyon, White Whitecliffs, out that way. All for work, so I'll be leaving Mrs. Huckleberry <laughs> at home. And then I'll uh, be back for a week and then uh, it's up the beach, up uh, Tiwa with uh, another group of Stony Creek Scout Caravan owners. So that'll be good. And then, um, then we'll be in the February, see where we go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching, Wandering Huckleberries. me for tonight. I'm parked up at the Aratula pub. Um, didn't get away until late today so didn't get very far. Destination for tomorrow night is Cobar in New South Wales. See how that goes. Well the flood plains are certainly flooded at Wilcania. It's an inland sea here at Wilcania on the flood plains. This road would have been under not so long ago. I'm sure if I put the drone up, it would be crazy how much water is here. Well, this is the Tal Yolwalka floodplain. Um, six bridges on the Barrier Highway. And the amount of water here at the moment is crazy. Look at that. This is 15 k's out of Wilcania and for the last five kilometers it's just been like this. Jet skiing anyone? Well this place isn't on my uh, regular list of favorite uh, holiday destinations but it is a regular place that I have to come for work. So here I am in uh, Copper City, Copper Town, Cobar. Thursday afternoon, 142 kilometres east of Broken Hill. Yeah, this is the uh, road into Ivanhoe. Luckily enough, there's only about 20 kilometres of it. The rest of the road is sealed. But there's some um, corners that take you by surprise and they're a bit loose so take it easy here we are in Broken Hill we can't drive through Broken Hill without getting some historical footage right so here's some historical footage <laughs> So I better get out, take some photos, and then head up to the pub. Well, what do you do when it's bright afternoon, the day is almost done, and you've got no more work on any of Broken Hill? Well, you go for a drive to Silverton. Of course you do. It's only 27 kilometers out of, out of uh, Broken Hill. So that's what I've done. Um, now it's time to head up the road a bit further, get a beer at the pub, maybe even check out the Mad Max Museum.
excuse the shakiness, my gimbal's just gone flat. Anyway, any ideas where we are? Yeah, wind palm. It's not very windy. Pan around. Good looking van. Car you might be familiar with. Oh, here we go. Mad Max Museum. That's right, we're at Silverton. So I might have to go in there and have a look. First we'll get uh, a little bit of footage out here. Hall of Justice. I feel like I should be saying something like a quote from the movie. Can't let him go. We'll see you on the road. See you on the road like we saw there. Knight Rider, something like that. We'll see you on the road, Skag! We'll see you on the road like we saw the Knight Rider! When in Silverton, you, you've got to come into the Mad Max Museum, don't you? It's a must. All that remains are memories. I remember a time of chaos. Ruined dreams, this wasted land. But most of all, I remember the road warrior, the man we called Max. And uh, from the banks of the Darling River, which is never this high, only in this area at the moment. It's flooded, as you can see over there. Um, this caravan park would have been under the water if it had been up another maybe a few metres. And it probably was, um, because all the ground's a bit wet and a bit green too, so that's a bit of a uh, hill pile sign, although they've got sprinklers on there. Um, yeah, the water has been very, very high. Menindy Lakes are full. The roads to Ivanhoe and Menindy are both cut off. And to get to Menindy, I had to drive around to Broken Hill. So, extra 400 kilometres that I didn't really want to do each way. But anyway, I've got water views. I've got one of these with our newest sponsor, Custom Lithium. Remember that name. Emergency services are using the caravan park here. Um, the helicopters are monitoring all the flooding. And they're coming in to land. Lucky I didn't have my drone up. A little later. Uh, it doesn't matter how many gauges you've got and how you monitor your temperatures, your EGTs, all of that. If it's 44 degrees and your engine's getting hot after you've had it retuned for performance, it's getting hot. All you can do is stop. Might be an idea to go for a milder tune. Either that or upgrade the whole cooling system. Bigger radiator, bigger intercooler, all of that. Can't just work in the winter. Got to get out here in the summer as well. Towing the van, the side office. So, don't know that I want to uh, spend a whole lot of money on this car when there's a new one coming. Having had my Colorado remapped, it produced nearly a 40% increase in power. It was awesome, it still is. It's great to drive. However, when I look up the van and I head out west in the summer months and warmer, warmer days, the temperature starts to climb up in the car, in the engine, and uh, I've got to back off. So I'm thinking the tune that I've got is, uh, is quite awesome. In fact, um, maybe a bit too much. Soon after. Breakfast of champions. Not cooking. Bit of wheat fix. Bit of sugar. All good. Uh, 
Ah, oh, well, today is going to be interesting. I've got narrow bry, and I need a wheel alignment. I've scalloped the tyre really badly, and apparently, nobody in narrow bry wants to do a wheel alignment on a caravan. At least that's what. Bloody noisy in this caravan park. Anyway, at least that's what everybody's saying on uh, Facebook. You won't find somebody to do it. Anyway, it seems I've got a friend on uh, on the Stony Creek Facebook page who lives in Narrabri, and he might know something, so we'll go and have a chat to him. Hmm. Meet up. Well, I'm at uh, Biden Pumps at Narrabri. Um, Barden Pumps, beg your pardon. John Barden uh, is a Scout 15 owner and he saw my post on uh, the Facebook page and invited me to uh, bring the van over where we've just done a uh, fairly rudimentary uh, wheel alignment. So that should be enough to get, uh, get me to someone that can do a, a proper job. So uh, anyway, if you're at Narrabri, look up John Barton. He's a good bloke. And when your jack is uh, not up to the task, you can always use the forklift. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Stop. Uh, hang on. Just make sure you're not on the water tank. Yeah, you're right. Yep, that's it. Turn around. That'll do it. 